Hey everybody, here we are. We're in the Coconino National Forest just north of uh, Sedona between Sedona and Flagstaff and we have got a cool little camper to show you. My name's Steve. We're from Palm Springs, California. My wife, Kelly. Uh, we're in a new camp tag, Boondock Edge Edition. We're out here in the Coconinos, and uh, this is a trailer we've had, a camper we've had for maybe three months. And we've probably spent about 35 nights in it. And easy trailer to uh, haul oh, behind it. We actually have a Toyota Tacoma that we haul it behind but uh, we can be set up in 15 minutes and ready to go and we can depart in 15 minutes. So uh, it's a very easy camper to take out into the wilderness. Uh, it has the uh, platform up front. In here is a tank and your battery. Um, it has a nice skylight in front. It's got LED lights on the front and the back. It also includes the Yakima awning over on this side. Um, very easy. The trailer weighs about 1,500 pounds dry, and by the time you add propane and water and so forth, it has an eight-gallon water tank. Um, it's a full-size queen bed, and inside is LED lighting. We've also got an air conditioning unit, a TV, and a stereo. So we've got. Uh, it's also got an exhaust fan here. Nice LED lights. A lot of. Uh, charging stations. I love that window right there in the front too. It's nice at night when the stars are out. Um, Off-road tires so it's got a high suspension so we've taken this thing on some pretty rough roads and it's uh, handled very well. It's about the width of my Tacoma so it trails behind you. You don't even know it's back there. Well, these are all those uh, high high density Lexan. Yeah, it's a dual density Lexan window. It's got a screen and it also has a shade, so you can pull the screen up and put the shade up. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's on all three sides. Um, diamond plate fender. In the rear, it's pretty simple. It's got a sink. It's got a power unit here for the pump. It has two burner stove for propane. Oh wow, you get a two burner stove comes with a Yeti cooler. We also have another Yeti cooler that we keep over here for drinks and then a cook box that we uh, put all of our utensils and stuff in so we usually just back them up together. That's an ingenious idea right there. It's got some really nice LED light. It's got a light bar here. Oh nice. And it's got some lights here. Plenty of lighting on the unit. This is great. I see a bucket on me there. Is that for anything specific or is it just to drain your sink? Oh, okay, to drain from the sink. Right in the bucket and then throw it out later. Okay, cool. And what are the, you got city and water connections to? Yeah, there's uh, there's a, actually a shower here. So you can hook this up to a power, put the pump on, and you can take a shower. And then in here, you can hook up the city water. And you can also fill your tank there. Here's also shore power. And then you have a cable outlet here, which gives you cable if you're in an RV site. Now, is that 30 amp or 15 amp or what? I think it's 30 amp. 30 amp? Wow, that's nice. And then on top is a solar unit. So typically, if we won't have any sun, I can probably get three days out of the solar unit if I just use the lights. Wow. Uh, how many batteries are you running? Just one. You know how many amp hours it is? No, I don't. <laughs> but it's enough, right? <laughs> that's all that matters. Seems to work. 
The only thing you can't run on the battery is the air conditioning unit, so you need shore power for that. But everything else here can be run off of the solar power. That is awesome. It's got the unique features in some of the... Um, it's got this little feature here that you can open your windows. Oh, that is interesting. And then for privacy at night, you can just close that up, however that works. Up like that. Wow, that is so cool. I see you even got power docks up there on the, like the little ledge. Yeah, there's 12 volt outlets, there's AC outlets, and then there's the USB port so you can charge. There's also some in the back. Nice. Got a little custom boondock thing right here. Yeah, that, that kind of comes with, like a tag is traditional, the boondock is more the off-road version, and then the edge adds a number of things like solar power, the Yakima Rock with the awning, this front guard up here, so it adds a few things. There's not too many things. There is a version that's a foot wider, which gives you another foot uh, in the bed. But uh, this is about, it's the size of a king bed, so it works out really well. So tell us what you like most about it. I like the ease of setting up. We can be here at the campsite, unhook. The good part about this, it's 1,500 pounds, so you can really push it around and get it in position, and uh, you can be set up in 15 minutes. Is there anything you don't like about it? Actually, I haven't found anything yet. You know, like I said, I've only had it for about three months, but uh, I have no issues. It's been a great product, a great trailer. Well, here we are. We have it from the horse's mouth, the owner himself. So if you're interested in one of these things, go check your local RV dealer, and we'll be keep bringing you stuff like this as we find it. Bye. Bye.